Ah, the Cobra Adder got it done. What is going on, everybody? We are jumping back in the saddle. Those of you who watched the last video know that I made a marginal shot and lost a deer. I mean, the shot wasn't that bad. Come on, if y'all watched that video, we should have found that deer. But they're just some resilient critters. I'm telling you. But, like I said, we're jumping back in the saddle and today we're using the Cobra Adder. It's the first time I've deer hunted with this bow. I've been waiting on it. And I think some of y'all have too. Now, we're coming back to the same spot, back down here to the feeder. I have five stands set up on this place and all of them are set up for a north wind. This is the only spot I have on the property that's set up for a south wind. So, until we get some fronts pushing in from the north, this is probably where we're gonna have to hunt. But, I mean, it's not a bad spot. This is like, <laughs> this is my honey hole, really. Now, for those of you who are here for the first time, I mean, we just got a feeder set up right there. It's just a barrel sitting on legs that has corn in it. And on the bottom, it's got a little computerized motor. It throws corn. At times I preset, I have it set to go off twice, one in the morning and one in the evening. And then right over here, tucked off in the bushes, I have a blind. Now, it's about 15 yards from the blind to the feeder. So, I'm just gonna get tucked off in this blind and uh, wait for a deer to show up. That's, that's about all there is to it. Oh, it is too hot for that, let me tell you. It's cooled down a little, but not enough to wear a beanie cap for very long. I jumped in here and then had to jump straight back out because I forgot that I had to trim some grass down and whatnot from in front of the blind. So what we got going here today is I've made me a 15 inch arrow just out of some gold tips that I had. GoGun.co sells 15 inch arrows, but I got behind and I don't have time to wait on them to ship to me. So I just cut me some down. Now we're going to pair that up with a G5 Montec. I just love these G5 Montecs. I use a Stay Sharp jig to sharpen them. And let me tell you, they are, they are little razors. People say you can't sharpen them, but if they figure out the Stay Sharp jig, everybody will be on the same page with me. So. I got the V2 magazine on here. That just flips up out of the way so you could cock it. I gotta be careful. I'm gonna fool around and cut myself. Then you just slide the arrow in from the front. Put that down and lock it. You are ready to go. So I'm just gonna quieten down, get everything set up here in the blind and uh, wait on a deer to show up if one does. Man, I may have missed my chance. I was sitting here reading a book and I wasn't paying a lick of attention. I thought I could trust to my ears, but the wind's blowing and a, a little old forked horn buck walked right up on me and I didn't even know he was there until I turned the page and looked up and there he was. I had just enough time to turn the front camera on and he walked right up here. It looked like he read the sign on the feeder and then thought better of it and turned around and walked back off. And then. Four or five minutes later, real nervous, he come back in, grabbed him a bite of corn. Now, I was gonna send an arrow through him right there, but he was directly in line with my camera. I couldn't get an angle on him. And after that, he milled over there to that persimmon tree, ate him a couple persimmons and just eased off out into the woods. So, I don't know. Now we're just gonna have to sit around and wait again. I'm gonna put the book up because it's getting a little later, maybe about 30, 45 minutes before it gets dark. And, I'll put the book up and pay attention. That way, if another deer shows up, I'll be ready for it. That deer ain't going too far. That was a good double lung shot. Look at the adder getting it done. Yeah, he just went crashing out through there. I, 
I mean that that punch straight through his shoulder. Yeah, I don't I don't suspect that one will be too hard to find. Okay, here's where we're at. I eased over there to where I seen that deer at last, and I found the end of the arrow that had broken off, and it was just covered in that old red bubbly blood. So just like I suspected, we got a good double lung shot. I'm gonna go ahead and give that deer until dark. Give him about an hour. It's always good to be on the safe side. But I'm gonna do the unthinkable and go ahead and call it and say we have got one down with the adder <laughs> i am that confident in the shot we just put on that buck so i'm gonna ease up here get a flashlight let it get dark get the wife and kiddos they like to track deer with me we will come back out here and hunt him up I can't see. see right there the blood on the ground you're about to step in it there and on the rock over there we gotta follow that trail, okay? There's some there. Okay. Well, There's some there. there. Oh, he is right there. We got him! Look at her. Oh, <laughs> the Cobra Adder got it done. Punch it all the way through. I'll have to go back and re follow that trail, see if I can find my broadhead, because I didn't see it when we was following. Cap, you wanna see him? Look at this here. You got your knife? He don't need to be stabbed. He's already gone. How about I can skin him? Let's skin him. All right, well, I am not I supposed to be do. lifting still, so uh, I'm going to have these boys grab hold of this deer and drag it out of here. So, hey, I appreciate y'all watching. We we got it done with the cobra adder, and we're going to get this deer out of here and get it cleaned up. It's still kind of warm, so we got to jump on it. So we'll catch you next time.